Hello everybody, greetings from Geneva. We continue with our interviews and the exciting days are still here in Geneva. So my dear friend Matthew Howell, I'm from uh, Ulis Narden, is my guest and uh, we will talk about the market, business, uh, exhibition, everything. So congratulations, you have one of the best booth as usual in Watches and Wonders. And let's talk about in general what is going on in this super nice organization. Well, you know, thank you very much for visiting us. Always Thanks a pleasure so to have you, Sada. Yeah. You know, for us, it's very important to be at Watches and Wonders. It's the biggest fair for the watchmaking industry. And I think over the years, it became really, you know, a moment for all the stakeholders, whether it's about the press, the influencers, the retailers, but also the final consumers. And what I expect from this week is to engage with even more final clients. Very good. So our last meeting was in November, I believe, in Dubai, Dubai, Dubai yes. Watch Week. And uh, I ask you what we should expect from Ulysses Narden in 2024. And uh, you gave me some hints. Now we are here in April and uh, we saw the novelties, especially Freak is uh, amazing again. So what happened in between this uh, period in Ulysses Narden from November to April? First uh, of February, I took over the helm of the company. So there is a... I would say an evolution yeah, in the management. Congratulations. Too. Every time I meet you, your position in the company is changing. But I'm now there is not really uh, uh, more, more, more than that. But yeah, it gives me the possibility to concentrate even more, you know, in the development of the brand. And obviously in the last, you know, months, we've been preparing the Watches and Wonders. You know, it's a big investment for us. It's really a stage to be able to voice what UN is all about. And I must have told you at that time that Freak was probably again, okay. you know, the key topic uh, of the year and key topic for the salon. So here we are. Yeah. And that dial you selected for the new Freak. So where the idea is coming from and also give us some information about that new Freak. We like to push ourselves. We like sometimes to do things that have not been done before. And uh, Freak S, you know, was launched in 2022 in a rose gold version, ceramic, and a base plate of the movement that was in Aventurine. And we wanted to combine the extremes. We wanted to combine the most complex movements we have most ever created with an ancestral métier d'art. So we've done things in the past with enameling, and we wanted to test the guilloché. And this is why you see... All together. <laughs> all, all together. So not the enameling, yeah, but at yeah. least the guilloché. So... It's been a challenge because we said, you know, we don't have a dial. So what you see in the Freak is actually, you know, the base plate of the movement. And we finally managed a way to combine the Freak-S movement and a guilloché dial. What can I say? I mean, everybody will uh, go to a lot of digital sites and they will see the novelty and you will understand what we are talking about. So this year also we have another novelty, very special color. So what would you like to say about it? So as we speak, uh, we are only unveiling the Freak-S, which is really the center of our intention. You'll see later during the year that we're going to give space for the rest of the collection. So. Yeah. I think you can expect something more in Diver uh, yeah. and also in the rest of the collection. But at the moment, we definitely concentrate on, uh, on, on the Freak. Maybe one more word, you know, Freak S is to me the most complicated time only watch, right? Ever yeah. created. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you only have uh, the minutes, the yeah. hours. Uh, no it's, a, it's a movement that gives you the time. Yeah. It's the only double oscillating organ, double escapement on the market being powered by uh, automatic movements. Okay, uh, Matthew, I mean, let's talk about the business in general. So uh, I know that uh, you are taking the decisions for affecting uh, many, many years uh, in the future. So, but recently everybody's talking about uh, market conditions, the business is going uh, not good. So what are you doing? I mean, uh, how do you react to this kind of crisis uh, periods in, in the company? It is not easy because, I mean, you are a company, as I said, taking the decisions for a very, very long period. I think, you know, being independent, uh, you have a long term view in everything you do. And therefore, um, I think for you and I, I value very much what, you know, how Rolex and Palek are saying things very long term. And they know that, you know, the watch industry goes in two cycles. There is up and down. And when the market goes up, you must not be greedy. Yeah. You need to just keep increasing a bit your production. When the market is tough, you need to hold a bit on the inventory, you know, and not put too much inventory on the market. So actually, this is the philosophy. And therefore, uh, at the moment anyway, and it was true last year, it's going to be true next year, we're not increasing the production. So we are just focusing on manufacturing more high-end watches, you know, more auto luxury timepieces like the Freak S. And having said that, we can have a stable business and not being forced 
to do the wrong thing. So yes, at the moment, we are more on the downside in the industry. Um, the Chinese market is more challenging. Um, obviously, there is an overall global and economic and geopolitical situation. But long term, I believe that the fundamentals of the watchmaking industry are solid. Okay, so uh, let's continue to talk about business a little bit because this is also, uh, I am very curious. There is a big discussion in the market uh, going to boutique side or the wholesale side. As far as I know, I can tell you that Ulysse Nardin is more on the wholesale yes. part. Uh, this is also a big discussion, as I said. Uh, are you going to continue to this side or uh, are you planning to change the model and going to the other side? Our job is to manufacture the best watch is possible. The job of our partner is to sell. Yeah. They are the experts when it comes to selling watches and they've got a long list of loyal consumers. So I strongly believe in the wholesale business, in the wholesale multi-brands. We are working with the best you know, retail partners on the planet, whether it's a booker of this world, um, the watches of Switzerland, the hourglass. Uh, also you know, in Turkey, Shamsa, they are one of the best. Ab absolutely. Yeah. So, and this is where we put our efforts. We believe in wholesale. Very good, very good. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, what can I say? Congratulations for both this uh, super nice design because you are injecting energy uh, to the exhibition. And also the Freak X, again, uh, unbelievable. So I like it. And uh, so if you have any message to especially Turkish watch enthusiasts. If you are in Geneva this week, pay us a visit. We will welcome you. Come to Lisnar then. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, uh, Matthew. So I hope thank next you, visit will be in Istanbul and we will shoot another video together. For sure, I will come. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.